got you. <laughs> Five hours later. And we're in Miami. Let's go. All right, so we just finished up at Versailles Bakery. Yes. How was it? So that was so good. I was looking forward to the Cuban coffee and this. that did not... We still have a little bit, oh, look at that. So good. <laughs> you guys, it's literally crack. Yeah, it's crack. I'm still Kevin shaking. Is still shaking from it. It's a little condensed cup like this, but dude, it's so strong. They give you these small cups and these you're supposed to... It's just a shot. Yeah, it's you're like supposed to just pour a little shot morning in. Morning shot, you know? I only took two shots. But man, I'm wired. And then we got some pastries, those pastries. Oh my God, you guys, the pastries are so authentic. This is like a Porto's, a OG Porto's, I would say. Got empanadas, some guava pastry. Yeah, saving Yum. all this for later. We got a long day ahead a of snack. us. Oh, we're gonna go get Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwich. It would be my first time. How about yours? My first time as well. Yeah, so so all right, time to head out. So we'll catch go. you guys in the next one. Hold the left lever down. It will take about 10 to 15 seconds. Ooh.
level three. This place is amazing. Didn't even I realize how much I like here. fish. Yeah. Go touch some manta rays. Touch some manta rays? I don't know. I don't know if I trust myself. <laughs> Back at Sandwich, part two. Part two. This time, we got the Mame Shake based on one of your guys' recommendations. So. I had a sip, it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? What does it taste like? Oh, wow. What does that taste like? Beast, dude. Take a nap, dinner at seven, see y'all later. Thank you. So we're actually checking out this morning and so I figured I'd give you guys a quick walkthrough of the room real quick. Uh, so this is room 325. I believe this is one of their more premier rooms and to the right as soon as you walk in is the bathroom. They actually didn't have any full length mirrors in here. So this big brown mirror was a great substitute for getting ready and all that. Not to mention it makes the room feel a little bit bigger than it actually is. Moving on, we have the shower, and to be honest, I think the shower could have been a little bit better, or it could have possibly just been the room that we got. Unfortunately, the room that we had had really weak water pressure, so I'm not sure if that goes for all the rooms or if it was just our room. Also, I found it a little weird that they didn't have any shower doors, so essentially when you were showering, it would flood onto the bathroom floors, and we had to ask housekeeping for new towels every day to keep up with it. And here we have the closet. The hotel actually has these tote bags for you to borrow, and I thought that was super useful since it saved me from carrying a backpack every day. 
Inside, you'll find your standard things like hangers, an iron, a uh, bathrobe. They actually have some yoga mats in here as well. The actual hanging space in itself is not very big, but it's Miami, so we didn't really pack that heavy. So that didn't really bother us too much. And here we have some empty drawers. Oh, this one actually has a flashlight in it, uh, but this one's empty. And the third one actually has a safe in it if you want to put any of your personal belongings or anything that you just don't want to take out with you. And so that's the closet. Now let's move on to the actual bedroom part of the room. This is their 300 square feet queen premium balcony. I honestly have no complaints about the room. I loved how much natural light we were getting in here. The sheets and pillows look pretty clean and the queen bed in itself was actually really comfy too. Now over in the corner, we have this kind of little work slash hangout area, but I pretty much just use this area to dump all my bags or my camera gear or any miscellaneous items that we had. Moving over to the nightstand slash fridge. Now you guys already know it's nothing too special about these little fridges, just your standard little fridge. And these do have the little mini bars in it. So just as a heads up, these aren't free and you definitely have to pay for these when you're checking out. Same thing applies to these little snacks up here, the little wine and the waters as well. You're honestly probably better off driving to the nearest local Target or Walmart or something like that and just picking up all you need. And that way you're not overpaying for drinks or snacks or anything like that just for the convenience. And now finally moving on to my favorite part of the room, the balcony. And this one is actually the premium balcony. So this balcony is actually extended a little bit further than their standard balcony. I personally love getting fresh air and just hanging out outside. So anytime I can book anything with a balcony or anything like that, I definitely try to. I mean, just look at these views. But yeah, I would rate the overall experience and staying with the Kimpton Hotel Palomar a solid 8 out of 10. We were paying about $250 a night for a total of four nights, so that brought our checkout total to about $1,000. Now the reason for my score is because of two reasons. Number one, obviously because of the shower pressure that I mentioned earlier, and number two, a PR company actually sent me a package out to this hotel to shoot some content for them while I was on this trip. But unfortunately, I never got the package even though the tracking has said delivered and I contacted the PR company about it. So yeah, would I stay here at this hotel again? Definitely yes. Would I get a package shipped here? Probably not. Y'all, it's raining a little bit, but this is our last day and I'm trying to get us swimming. <laughs> Well, folks, welcome to San Diego. Just a couple minute wait here. There's a, another fellow. 